Hi, I'm Mr. Mark. I'm gonna tell you how to make a parachute today. Gonna to show you the steps to go through it, and then we'll try it out and see how it works, okay? So let's see what we need. So very first, we're gonna be using a plastic trash bag, and then also we need some type of weight, a figure, and I'll show you different things that you can use for that. And we need some, some rubber bands and paper clips to fasten our figure on. And then we're gonna be using um, fishing line to tie our figure onto our parachute and we'll need our scissors for cutting the fishing lines. The very first thing we're gonna start out with is the trash bag. This is the top part, the actual parachute part of the parachute. So we have these clear bags and you can see they got an end like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I'll show you what the end result looks like. And I cut it into a square and I have an extra one here. So I cut the end off and because it's two-sided, it actually makes two squares. So here's what one of them looks like. And this is a pretty good size. And if it's a little uneven, just cut it the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just basically has to be a regular shape. You can also do a rectangle. Um, and if you're really talented and want to do a circle, you probably want to trace it and do that. But I have done that before. But for these, we made a square. So then the next thing you need is you want to figure out what kind of figure you want for your parachute, your weight that's going to bring it down. Now for the ones I was making, I was using Lego figures just because I had them on hand and they're a good size to go along with this. Uh, but you could use washers, metal washers work. These little binder clips work. They're a little bit light, but I made this one I might try sometime. I should clip the washer into the binder clip just like that. I've used corks before. Key rings will work if they're heavy enough. And these are all good things because you want something to tie the strings on to attach the parachute. So for my Lego person, so I took a paper clip, stuck it here on the back so it sticks up a little bit, took a rubber band, wrapped it around so that way we've got the clip part sticking up here so we can attach our fishing line. So the tough part is when you, is getting the fishing line right. So we have one, two, three, four corners on our parachute, okay? So we need to cut the fishing line so it has enough pieces to hit those four corners. The easiest way, you might think, I think when I used to make them, I would cut four pieces and try to do it that way. Easy way is cut two pieces. And then you have two long ones. And I'll show you the end result here. You run them through the paper clip, run one this way, tape it on here, tape it on here, and then run the other one this way, tape that one on here, tape it on here, and you tie it on to the Lego person. Let me show you a completed one Let me sit down here. We have one right here. So you can see I got the four strings, might be a little hard to see, but they're all on the four corners of the parachute. And they're all tied onto the paper clip, which is fastened by a rubber band onto the little Lego guy. And let me show you how we pack up our parachute before we toss it into the air. I have an interesting way, and I've tried done, done this with a lot of different parachutes, it's all kind of the same way. And if you're asking, will it work every time? No, but that's what you play around with it for. And you just experiment and try to get it to work and try the best you can. But the best way is you fold it out. I fold it in half. And then I'm gonna fold it again. And it's fairly small now. So now what you wanna do is you wanna take your parachute guy, try not to tangle your strings. And that's the hardest part is dealing with those strings. Put your parachute person in the middle. Fold it up again, fold it up one more. You don't wanna fold it real tight. You wanna fold it kind of loose. So we have it this way, and then when you toss it up in the air, you want to toss it underhanded, toss it like that, and then kind of let it glide down. And it's real key, the heavier your figure is, the higher you're gonna to have to toss your parachute. I'm using a fairly light figure, I'm using a Lego figure, but if you were using like a washer or something, you'd want to really toss it to get it up there because it needs time for the parachute to open and come down. So the heavier your figure is, the further you gotta to toss it up, okay? So that's how you make it. And like I said, play around with it. The strings were the hardest part to do, but you can try different things. We're gonna go find a good place here in the library and test it out and show you. And so just practice with your throwing. And like I said, the, um, the size and the weight of your bag. You can play around with different ones. If you use a heavier trash bag, that might work a little bit better, but you have to throw it a little bit higher. And of course, your, the length of your strings does matter. It depends on how you want it to go, but 
it's kind of quick to make, but you can try different ones and test them out. So it can take a while with it and, you know, just play around with experiment and have fun. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me today and try this out at home. Thank you.